Hi guys, I'm Dr. Simran. I'm a medical graduate from India and uh, I've done with the, both the steps of USMD, step 1 and step 2 CK. And I'm here in this video to tell you about a very efficient way of note taking that is the notes on iPad. So let's get started. Let's get started with the note taking on the iPad. So basically I have the iPad Pro and on this I usually teach my students. So good notes is what I use to you know annotate on my iPad good notes is an app and it's a paid app on the Apple store so supposing I have to highlight something so there's a highlighter tool there are wide variety of colors available on the highlighter tool from which I can choose any one that I like supposing I choose this peach color and I have to highlight the text so the gliding is very smooth and it takes just a second to highlight the text in whatever way you want to so in the highlight also there are two options either you can draw in a straight line or you can choose your own option supposing I'm not drawing in a straight line so it will go anywhere okay it will go anywhere wherever I choose the draw in a straight line so it would be drawn in a straight line only just like our conventional chisel tipped highlighters do their job so supposing I'm teaching someone this thing or I'm studying for my own so there are pen options also available like the fountain pen, the ball pen and the brush pen. And supposing I choose the brush pen, okay, so the brush pen has different sizes. You can choose from a wide variety of sizes also. Supposing I have to give a heading. So you might have seen many Instagrammers or you might have seen many study grammars doing the same thing. Like they just make it look so aesthetic. I know the page is not blank. Let me add another page and show you how it looks. Supposing I have to add a title, muscle contraction. So without buying any colors, any brush pens from the market, you can easily write a title in the way you want. And you don't need any calligraphy pens also because everything is included in them. Supposing the subtitle is sarcomias. So in this way you can use the different uh, the strengths of the fountain pen as well as the brush pen. And there is a subheading sarcoplasmic reticulum. So I will show you few slides that I have prepared while teaching as well as studying. Supposing I am teaching the myofilaments. So I can highlight the text, right? And there's a tool by which I can make people understand what I'm trying to say. It is a very convenient tool, just like a laser pointing. Just like a laser point, it works. Supposing without writing, I want to make them understand without spoiling my slides. Or if I have to revise something, so usually on paper, what we do, we keep a pen with us and we usually, you know, make marks just to revise them. Right? So, if I want to revise something or if I want to emphasize on something very important, so I use this tool on Good Notes. Then there. I'll show you how to have a split screen on the Good Notes app. So, supposing you want to open two windows consecutively, so you can just drag and drop. Supposing I'm with opening this window, I'll just drag it and drop it. So, two files would be open at the same place, so you don't have to waste your time looking for one file to the other. Okay? You can just look at the same supposing you open one book on the one slide and open second book on the other so that won't waste your time in switching from one window to the other so now coming on to the other tool that good notes have good notes is having this lasso tool from lasso tool you can just select the text and you can cut it or copy it you can even take the screenshot that is available so supposing you have to save it in your image or you have to save save it to your Google Drive or you have to post it on Instagram so that can take a selective screenshot and that you can you know do according to your convenience. So let me show you another tool of good notes that is a magnifying tool. Supposing you feel your handwriting is poor or you feel the text is too small to write so you can just magnify it and write it here that would directly appear on the screen. So supposing I write. that is directly appearing here you can see so you can write accordingly conveniently according to your handwriting and the pace 
that is a good way to quickly make the notes and there is another tool on good notes that is a selection tool so supposing you want to make a object circular or rectangular okay you don't have to waste your time in making it perfectly because there's a tool for it so this was all about the good notes and in the next video i'm going to come up with a graphic tablet that i recently got my hands on i usually teach on an academy so that is a very convenient way to teach because the graphic tablet is going to help me a lot in making the illustrations which i wasn't able to do with my conventional mouse I hope you liked my video and I hope that after watching this video you would be able to prepare your notes in an efficient way and you would you know go paperless and uh, apart from uh, drawing the illustrations on iPad you would be able to you know understand things in a better way because you would be able to add images and all that stuff that I just taught you so I hope this video helped you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos